Now then people, it's Joe, it's All Leeds TV and it is time for your Leeds versus Fulham pre-match chat. Before we get in, I hope you're all enjoying the sun, it's absolutely glorious out there. Please smash a like, please share and subscribe and of course, check out the rest of the content from All Leeds TV. And we will be doing a watch along on Saturday, we'll also be doing a watch along on Friday for the big game, West Brom versus Brentford. So make sure you're tuned in for that and keep it locked to All Leeds TV. So look... The dust has now settled, right? Last time out, it wasn't great. Leeds weren't at the best. We dominated the game, though. We controlled it. Two mistakes cost us. I know this might be what it, not what anybody wants to hear, but arguably, we're in a better position than we were last week. Not arguably, it's fact. Yes, the gap between us and Brentford shortened, but ultimately, we're still seven points in front of third with a game less to play, three less points to play for. Um, in terms of what went wrong for me last time out, obviously, it, 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 there, was a, there was a number of errors made, well, two in particular that cost us goals, um, but at times it was attack versus defence. We, ma we missed Pablo massively, and we repeated the added, you know, the old um, added, you know, go-to when we're struggling to break teams down, of just endless crosses into the box. I think it was 46 in total, and if you can remember, any decent ones... I'm open all ears, because I can't, you know what I mean, so so there you go, um, but look, same as last time out, same this time out, in this big game for us, the first goal is so important, and we've seen that against Cardiff, because teams can go in front and shut up shop, and Fulham have the capability to go in front, with their big man up top, of course, Mitrovic, and they have the capability to shut us out, with the likes of Reed, Hector, Ream, you know, so the first goal is so, so important. And we've seen that last time out against Cardiff. And when you're not up against a Brentford or someone that wants to, to, to come and play you at your own game um, and leave spaces, although Fulham will, you know, they'll leave a lot more spaces than what a Cardiff team will, do, you know, will have done. But for me, the first goal is so important. And, you know, it's a bit like when you were a kid, you know, next goal wins. I feel sometimes it's like that with Leeds United, first goal wins. <laughs> um, because, like I said, if they do go in front and Mitrovic gets one, um, you know, from a from a ball in from Brian because that's you know I think he's got seven assists this season to Mitrovic from that position at left back, um, and they do go in front. Then, as I say, you know Harrison Reed, we've seen the importance of him last time out. He's been injured quite a lot of the season, but you know I've I've listened to a few bits and and people lauding his display. Um, and of course, when he went off around about 80 minutes um, last time out, the game just, just fell on its head and, uh, and obviously Brentford won the game 2-0. Um, so so it'll be interesting to see if he plays and last time out he will. And if he does, then he, you know, shielding that, you know, them, that centre-back partnership of Ream and Hector, um, we might struggle to get back in the game. We all know, um, well, this question marks over Bamford, isn't it? <laughs> and will he have a, will he have a good... Good afternoon against the likes of Hector, um, top top quality centre back at this level. Look, the the one thing I will say about Fulham, um, and I'll say about Scott Parker, uh, they have to win. Uh, they have to come out and win because this game's huge. They lost against Brentford. If they lose this one, then you'd say it's over for them. You never say never, but I think a lot of Fulham fans will agree. Um, they have to win this, and this suits Leeds United because they're going to have to come and try and get a goal. If we don't have any errors and we're strong in the air. Um, then we'll we'll be all right. But but the first goal for me is so so important. But but we're so lucky in that Fulham have to come and get a result at Ellen Road. This is where the, for me the fans will be missed because I look at this game and think this will be one where it will be such a spicy atmosphere and the Leeds faithful will be at the fi you know finest. It's games like Luton at home that I think mm, we probably benefit with fans not being there because <laughs> if we're struggling against a team like that and you know you, you, 89th minute corner Luton one nil boom. Uh, with a team like Fulham, though, you know, I'd want us there. A bit like that West Brom game, if you remember last season, where we came out and, and, and Pablo scored within within seconds. Um, but Fulham have to win. That suits Leeds United to the ground. Parker has to get a result. I've had question marks over him all season. I think even Fulham fans still question him. Will he have the required plan in order to take on Bielsa? I know he said before when, when they beat us, you know, when they got that, that dodgy penalty, um, that, that he'd worked it out and all that sort of stuff. But I'm not so sure. But one thing is, like I keep repeating, we can't afford mistakes. After watching the game against Brentford the other day on that Saturday with the lads, it was evident that Mitrovic got on the end of a lot of crosses. He did. It's just the, the headers were poor. Now, is that down to match sharpness? And that's what worries me. Because 
Yeah, he looks a bit rotund, but he know, he's always in the right position. That's the mind. You know, you can say what you want about how he looks and how fit he might be in comparison to some of our players, but he was always in the right place. He had more touches than what Bamford did. And that's not me hanging on back, you know, having a go at Bamford. I'm just saying Mitrovic, regardless of what shape he's in, he'll be in that right position to get his head on the end of a Joel Bryan cross or wherever it comes from. You know, so he's going to be uh, another game sharper. So we can't give him them opportunities because he might take them. And there was question marks over Meslier for me. I know I've heard a lot from content creators, podcasts, etc. that people don't think he he could have done much about the goals. I, think, I disagree, but that's what I mean. It, everyone's entitled to their opinion and that's why we love football. Um, but yeah, Joel, Joel Bryan has to start uh, seven assists from left back. That's what we need to be dangerous of. The ball coming out to him, balls into the box to Mitrovic. Um, of course... Harrison Reed um, was was great last time out. Uh, he did limp off though uh, after the game. I know Connor's mentioned it on social media as well. Maybe he doesn't make it, and if he does, we can get round Harry Arter at will. As much has been said by a lot of people this week, um, but he, he was such a loss uh, when they came off. But of course, they have the likes of Cavalero, etc. Um, if they're playing uh, Bobby Cordova, Reed, they have a lot of talent there. Um, it, it'll just be. It remains to be seen how we come out, but I, I, look, I do. I am confident against Fulham. I just think the, the first goal's so pivotal. But what suits us is Fulham have to tr come come out and try and get that. They can't sit in. They can't come away with the point. They need to come and try and win. And if they come front foot, then they're going to leave spaces on the counter. And of course, we will have the return of Pablo Hernandez. I'm doing this before the press conference, which isn't normally my style. I might be wrong, but I'm almost you know, 100% certain that we'll have Pablo back in the side. What that means um, for, for personnel, I think Roberts could drop back down to the bench, if I'm honest, and, pa and Paddy stay up front. Some of you might not agree with that, but I think that's the way it'll go. What that does do, though, is gives us an option off the bench. If, for example, Paddy's not having a great game, like we've seen last time out, like against uh, Hull, um, then then Roberts comes onto the pitch and 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 can get them at will in that number nine role. Um, that's one thing we didn't have with Roberts being on the pitch and no Pablo last time out. We couldn't change it up top because we don't have anyone. JKA, Edmondson, not, they're just not in. They're not featured. They're not in his plans and... He asked me when we're not looking to play JKA before his loan deals up because we don't want to make that permo. Um, but yeah, Pablo comes back into the side. He comes in central. He come, Roberts goes back to the bench. I think a lot of us would say, let's put Roberts back. I think, you know, Bielsa, he'll stay with Paddy. If it's not working out, we then have an option to switch Paddy for Tyler Roberts. So, so there is that option there. But listen, I've mentioned it before. I think this is a big one where we'll miss the fans. It'll be interesting to see how Leeds United um, go about it. We've obviously seen the crowd and of course the fiasco of uh, Osama Bin Laden. Who knew it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, look, this weekend's huge. This weekend's huge for Brentford, for Fulham, for West Brom and Leeds United. You couldn't ask for a bigger game. You know, that oh, it's, it, this is what we love football for. Regardless of when you're in, if you're involved or not, it's what we love football for. Um... Make or break time, make or break time for Brentford or Fulham. They have to get positive results. If they don't, then you you back to thinking the gap's too big and we're one guess, you know, game less. Now, caveat that, if they were to both get results and you know we were to lose, I'd I'd be breaking it. And I, I am breaking it ahead of this game as well. But I'm quietly confident the fact that Fulham have to come out and play. I'm not hundred percent sold on Scott Parker. Probably not even twenty five percent sold on him. I don't think he'll have the answers to to to, to come and, 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 and really have a strict game plan to come at Leeds United and come away with a positive result. However, if we make a mistake and they get in and Mitrovic scores, and then it's going to be tough because you've got the likes, I keep mentioning it, Harrison Reed, Hector, etc., to shut us out. But I do think they've got to come and they've got to come and get a result. And because of that, they're going to leave spaces, they're going to leave gaps, we're going to be able to get them at the counter. The boys are going to respond. Every time they've been questioned or called upon, they've responded and they'll do that. On Saturday, I've heard Dallas on talk spot. You cannot tell me that squad isn't confident. Just listen to what the lads are saying. And I think we win the game. I think I think we win the game 2-1. I think we go in front. Um, Fulham may come, come back into it. But first goal is so important. 
So two one Leeds United, um, and we have to get that first goal. Um, if if Fulham get the first goal, I'll genuinely be worried. But thank you so much, guys. Um, I hope you've had a smashing week. Let's look forward to that game ahead. Let's get the rest of the team's videos watched. We'll see you on Friday night, which is just tomorrow, for the West Brom Brentford watch along, which is going to be a huge game. We'll look forward to doing that. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, check the rest of my boys' content out. Um, and we'll see you see you Friday. And uh, uh, if you're not ready for that, we'll see you Saturday, three o'clock, when Leeds will beat Fulham and create a cushion on third. Fingers crossed, because if they don't, uh, uh, shit in a brick time. But I'll leave it there. Thank you. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.